Welcome back to another episode of Air Studio. Today I'm going to share with you how I made this pendant light that it's inspired in a top designer brand and basically cost me zero dollars. Let's start with the video. I had this basic pendant light from IKEA that every time I walked by was activated thanks to a smart movement sensor. However, this project was not even close to be completed because the real inspiration from it was one of my favorite pendant lights in the market, which is the AIM LED pendant light from Floss, designed by Ronan and Erwin Borulek. I absolutely love this pendant light and I love how uncompromising it is and how easily hangs very playful in pretty much any type of space, bringing light to it, but not taking anything away from. So this is my interpretation of it. And if you like it, I'm gonna show you next how I did it. As I mentioned earlier in the video, this pendant light cost me pretty much zero dollars because I used things that I already had in my apartment, including these very affordable LED light bulbs from Ikea that I removed the frosted cup to create a spotlight effect. I start by removing the existing housing of the pendant light from Ikea to replace it with my own version of it. I basically needed a bigger housing to accommodate the smart outlet, which all the lights will be connected to, so they work seamlessly with the smart sensor. I made all perforation first, then I soften it up with a little bit of sandpaper, and finally, I get rid of the additional plastic with a blade. To change the color of the eggs, I use regular spray paint. However, I had to use a black layer to prevent the light going through and reveal the true color of the egg. I had to use at least five layers of paint to be able to get rid of the original color of the egg. However, it's recommended to wait a really good amount of time between layer to layer to prevent drippings of paint. Of course, I couldn't wait and I got many of those, so. For the hooks, I used plastic corks, which I sand to get rid of the name brand. Then I make some perforations for the cable, but for the cable to be able to pass through, I made an incision with a blade that later you won't be able to see. And finally, I just use a regular screw to connect the hook to the casing. Then I repeat the process with the other two shades. Now for the ceiling hook, I use a regular screw with a cork hot glue to its head. Now I install the main housing the same way I installed the original pendant light from Ikea. Now the only difference is that this one is going to be slightly bigger to accommodate the smart outlet connected to the smart movement sensor. To hide the light source and pretty much the light bulb that doesn't look pretty at all after I remove the frosted covering, I'm going to use this very rich in texture fabric from Schumacher that is going to create very cool shadows on the ground and on the walls. But before I do this, I have to give some strength to the fabric because it's pretty weak right now. So I'm going to iron this piece of fabric with a solution of starch, which is made of two teaspoons of cornstarch, two and a half cups of water, put it in a spray bottle and spray and iron as many times as you feel necessary. When the fabric was done, I trace and cut the circles to cover each light. Now I install every part of the casing for the lamp and finally I glue the fabric. I'm not expecting to change the light bulb in a very long time, so I have no problem not having access to the light bulb. If something happens, I can replace it and just glue it back again. Finally, I just hang and adjust each lamp. I'm extremely happy with the result and I can't wait to hear your thoughts. I 
I really hope you guys like this video. Please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.